Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to take this moving shot, we're going to track it using the planar tracker, and then we're going to add some artwork to the wall. And we're going to do all of this on the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so we're on the Edit tab first of all. Let's set a few things up. Come up here to the Media Pool, and we've got a clip here called Wall Footage. So just drag that one down. This is just something I shot when I was living in Batumi in Georgia. Beautiful city. If uh, you're thinking of visiting Georgia, it's a very nice country. Um, so what I'm going to do here is add an image to this wall behind. So let's make a new fusion clip here by right clicking and selecting new fusion clip. And then let's go over to the fusion tab. OK, so now we've got our media in, media out. Let's just call this one video clip. OK, so the first thing we want to do is to track our clip. So let's find a frame, probably this last frame where it's at its biggest. And we want it to go on the wall. So I think I'm going to track this sign, OK, because there are lots of potential tracking points. OK, so let's go on this frame here and then with our video clip selected, do shift and space and then type in here planar and click on add. That gives us our planar tracker. And what I want to change here is this one. So I'll change point to hybrid point area and then I will set the point. What we need to do now is drag and a box around here so we'll just have four points and when you get to the end again you get this circle click and now we'll complete our box and then we can just move these points if we want it to be tighter that's okay I think all right and then we come to this button here and track to the start okay so that's our track finished and let's just have a look so it seems to be sticking all right okay good so let's now create a planar transform. So click on our tracker, come up here to our inspector, click on create planar transform. We will need that one later, so let's move it to the side. And now we don't need this tracker, so we'll just move that over there and reconnect these. So now we can bring in our image. So go up to the media pool, and I have a, an image of a parrot here. So let's bring it in. Let's call that image. And what I want to do here is add uh, a background to this image. And the reason I do this is because the image is a different aspect ratio to our composition. So we will merge those two together. And then let's merge this in here. And after our merge, we will add a transform node. And we can use this transform node now to adjust the size. So we come up here. To the inspector again and we can bring it down and then we can roughly position it on the wall where we think it should go okay good now of course we've got a problem we've got a black background around our image so to remove that click on our background go to the alpha here and then reduce the alpha now after our transform we need to add a planar transform Okay, so we'll add a transform and then we'll have a planar transform. Okay, so let's drop this one in here. So let's disconnect, move it in to go in there and in there. Good. All right, so now when we scroll through, our parrot is sticking to the wall. And the reason it's doing that is because our planar transform is telling our image what the motion of the video is from the tracker. Okay, so without that planar transform. So if I take this planar transform out and just connect up, now it's just staying where it is. So it doesn't know where to go, basically. So we need to have this planar transform, which then will tell our image kind of where to be, basically. So now what we can do with our transform is just reposition this and size it where we want it. So maybe something like this. OK, and now we need to kind of blend it in slightly. So we'll come here to the merge and then we will change our apply mode here. 
and I'm going to change it to hard light. And what I kind of want to do is match this graffiti down here with the, the red here, the orange, try and match it with uh, our parrot. So we'll adjust the blend. So we'll just take this down a bit, maybe adjust the gain just until we kind of think it looks right. So let's play it back. Okay, maybe we'll change our blend slightly, bring it up. Okay, good. After the image, again, shift and space and type in shadow and we're going to grab a shadow and then let's connect this back up into the merge and the reason I want to add a shadow here is just kind of make it look like it's kind of grounding it so I'm just going to adjust here the shadow offset so you can see if I add a slight let's zoom right in here if I add this slight shadow then it gives this illusion that it's kind of sticking a bit maybe and then let's add a bit of softness as well like this and then zoom out and if I turn the shadow off I think it just kind of adds a little bit to the image makes it maybe look a little bit more realistic okay and then we're done so let's go back now to the edit page and let's play this back okay so there you go you've tracked a sign you've offset the position here using a transform node and you've blended in this image using the apply mode and adjusting the blend to make it look like it's stuck to the wall okay well i hope you found this useful i hope you learned something about planar tracking uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one